He's supposed to always say customer service. You know, it's all mm-hmm. about sucking up your feelings and make sure that they are the number one yep. person in the room. But now's your opportunity to do the opposite and complain about your customers. 13, 10, 60. Hey, Michaela. What's your customer service story? Working at Coles, a lady came through the registers with a baby in the trolley, went out to the car and her baby spewed all over her bread and her groceries and she came back and asked to exchange them. <gasps> Oh. <laughs> we were talking to Taylor, our producer, who used to be a flight attendant, and she used to say, do you know, like, every person used to come up going, any chance for an upgrade? <laughs> yes, and my favourite line was, oh, honey, I wouldn't even put you in the emergency exit row. You would say that to them? Yes, when you get it, it's like one in every five passenger asks. You can't say that back. <laughs> I even said to someone, oh, I can try pop you in with the pilots if you want. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sassy you d- little mole. You can just pop down to Tiger. You can just pop down to Tiger if you want. <laughs> we uh, have an anonymous Ooh. coming through. Hi, I work for a government company Uh Mm -hmm. and we get abused on the daily i had someone last week that told me that they hope my mum dies of aids wow um it's just full on yeah that's horrible because let's just say that i guess the the government sector that you work for is not that popular with everyone but it's not it's not but we're just doing our job yeah and so when you put them on hold as well Mm. do you have the system where you can say you're going on hold they hear the music but you can still hear what they say about you no, I wish I could. Oh, that's, yeah. that's call centres. They That'd do be a that. Game changer. Yeah. I just sit there and listen for like ages. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, anonymous. Stab Abby and Matt on B one hundred and five.